Okay, so in this series, we're going to go over the main problem that anybody has, whether you're shooting tournament archery or whether you're a hunter, we've all faced it. That is judging distance. It's a main problem that anybody has. Whether that big buck is coming out chasing the doe and you've ranged every possibility that you think you've ranged and he comes in, your adrenaline's going, you forget all of it, this will help you. If you're coming from a known yardage class to an unknown yardage class, this will help you. And by the end of this series, I promise you, if you take these tips, you'll judge distance like a pro. So the main thing that we're gonna do and that you can take from this video is judge everything in half yardage increments. We have this target here. And what we're gonna do is if the target is 20 yards and in, I like to judge it from 10 to 15 yard increments. If it's 30 yards and out, I judge from 15 to 20 yard increments. And another thing that I like to do is use objects around the target and you to judge the distance to the target. So I got this target here in a patch of cedar trees. And I got another patch of trees just right here closer to me and close to the target. Using my half yard increments, this is a closer target. I'm gonna judge it in 10 yard increments. So from me to that patch of cedar trees, from me to right in front of me here is 10 yards. From there to that tree is 10 yards. So from me to that patch of trees is 20 yards. Now, from that patch of cedar trees off to the side of the target here to the target, I wanna say is three yards. So from us to the target is 23 yards. So we're gonna run our sight tape down and we're gonna take a shot. Get your stance. Perfect. And another rule to do is we all have range finders. If you don't know where 10 yards is, or you don't have a yardage that you're for sure that is imprinted in your brain, just get your range finder on a day that you have off or when you're not doing anything too extravagant. Go out and range everything that you can around your house or in your house. And when you range it, don't just range it and say, oh, that's 10 yards. Really analyze after you range that or before from yourself to that target Take your time to analyze it and range it and make an assessment and you'll start getting your yardage distancing down to a path.